What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Outdoor Chef Life, and I'm Taku. Today, we're doing a catch and cook in Southern California, in Los Angeles County. And right now, it's about a negative 0.7 low tide here. Look at this, it's pretty low. There's a lot of access to these rocks. And today, we're targeting octopus. Yesterday, we were out and we saw three octopus, and pretty good size too. And there is no size limit for octopus in California. So we are gonna try to harvest one today and make some sushi, all right? So stay tuned, let's do this. I apologize in advance for the sound quality of this video. Um, I accidentally got the mic wet, so it was all static. So now I'm just stuck having to have to use all the audio from straight from the camera. So sorry about that, guys, um, but enjoy the video. To all my SoCal people, you gotta come out here and harvest some uni. There's so many out here, there's way too many. You gotta come out here and come get some of this. Oh! Did you find a big one? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yay! Look at this. I was hoping to find one of those. Look what I've got. Aha! Uh -huh. A red urchin. Oh, this is a, yeah, this is a red urchin. Yeah, you don't see... So there are a lot of these in California too, but you just don't see these at tide pools very often because they're in deeper water. But sometimes you'll, you'll find them, like this one. Um, I've found a really big one before, almost the size of my head in a tide pool. So, but yeah, you can find them occasionally, the red urchins. Um, I think we'll keep this guy. Cool. Nice. Look at this. Oh that man, that's trash. big. This, this one came with trash, god damn it. That's hella huge. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's a good size. We put the trash in the bucket too. Yeah. Man. All right. I guess we might be doing a uni, catching sushi uni, but with red urchin. Let me get this other one. Oh, it's smaller. This one's small. Look at this. This is the biggest one I found. Nice. Look at these ones right here. You. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, he's moving a little. He's going in. I think he went in. Oh, oh, a crawfish right next to you. Where? Right side. Oh yeah, there's a coon striped shrimp. Coon striped shrimp. There's a coon striped shrimp next to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's taking me in and spiking me on all the sea urchin. <laughs> Maybe take the sea urchin out. The big one I saw. Yeah. You found an octopus? Yeah, he's in there. I feel him. But it's really difficult. There it is. It is. It's really fucking easy. Alright, let's let it. Alright, I'm just gonna give the octopus a little break. He's really murky and he can't see and I can't feel him either, so I'm gonna let it calm down and just walk away and see if he'll make himself uh, if he'll come out. Not that big, but yeah, it's not that big. I thought it was gonna be bigger. I think I'll put this one back. Let's check this one right here. This pool looks pretty good. Let's see. You don't see anything there? No. All right, let's go back over there, see if, if it came out. You didn't see any, any life? Oh, he did? He moved? Yeah. You did see him? Look at the rocks he left. He's mm. there now. He is? Yeah. You saw him in there? Yeah. I saw him. His tentacles come out on the right side and the left side. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He's coming out on both sides. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's here. He's there? Better hurry. The water's oh, coming in. He didn't go this way, right? <laughs> what? Because he camouflages. So good. Damn it, he's so good. They camouflage and they move fast. Oh yeah, he's here. He's here? Yeah. 
Oh, right. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Grab his head. Grab it. Grab. I can't Don't see. let him go. I can't see. I can't see. You, you, you grab inside. He's stuck in. He's stuck to the rock. It's on the rock. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on the rock. Yeah, yeah. He's good. He's good. You good. You good. You good. You good. You good. Lift that rock. I got it. I got him. I got him. I got him. Pull, pull, pull. Can we get him? Woo! Got one. Nice. Nice. Oh, we fight you for like freaking one, an hour, dude. Yeah. All right, guys. We just got this octopus right here and in california there's no size limit for octopus so any size you are technically allowed to keep but i wouldn't keep them if they were too small this guy definitely seems big enough um, to eat so and they are i know many of you know that these octopus are really intelligent creatures definitely and they can actually bite they have a beak and they can bite you so got to be careful um, if you're handling one of these but yeah this is a beautiful creature these octopus only have a lifespan of one to two years and based on the size of this guy he's at least a year uh, if not close to two years so don't feel too bad about me harvesting this one because he's towards the end of his road so this is a perfect one to to harvest I th think he's gonna make a really good meal it's awesome first time catching an octopus and in California, if you want to catch these, you have to catch them by hand or hook and line. Beautiful creature. He's inking the hell out of me. I got some ink too. And it feels like, like feel the suction, Jocelyn. Look at this. So crazy. See? So you get a double sushi episode, octopus and uni. Alright, we're going to do a little taste test. Oh yeah, it looks good in there. Looks really good. The color is perfect. Really creamy, not as sweet, a little bit briny. Yeah. Alright, guys, so we got uni, we got octopus. Now we're gonna go actually to my mom's house we're gonna go drive all the way to vegas we're gonna keep these keep the uni and octopus cold until we get there and we're gonna make some sushi at my mom's house all right we'll see you guys there all right guys so we are in my mom's kitchen now uh, master's here with me still he's here and my girlfriend had to go back to san francisco actually for work but uh, so we're gonna start cleaning the octopus right now and then uh, we'll show you how to do that so we're gonna use a little bit of uh, actually a lot of salt rub the octopus with the salt and at the same time We're also kind of massaging it as well and it helps to kind of get the slime off and it tenderizes mm -hmm. the octopus as well then we'll make some rice also and We'll clean the uni and We will I think we're gonna grill the octopus actually yep. when everything's all prepared. We're gonna make some sushi Just a little bit feels really tender already.
That's so good. That's perfect. It's really tender for octopus. Still has that, you know, that little bit of that chewy texture, but it's also very soft and juicy. Like that's the thing, it's really juicy. It's so good. Oh wow, this is gonna make some really good sushi. This one has nothing. Literally, we didn't take it out yet or anything. And look, there is zero. Nothing, nothing in there. He was still alive, but he has nothing. Well, wow, interesting, huh? Alright guys, this is my Hi. mom here. She's gonna try the uni. Right. Okay, good. Uni. Mmm. Mm. Is she? Soy sauce. Mm-hmm. Lime zest, soy sauce, lemon juice, lime juice. Wasabi strong. Oh, wasabi strong. But the octopus is really good. I love octopus. This is, in Japanese, we call this taco, okay? I'm taku, this is taco. Don't get twisted. No, taco, taku, taco, taku. Two left, two left. last two. Last two for the champs. Last one. Cheers, man. Last one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that grilled octopus sushi, like, oh man. That's good. Octopus grilled is, I mean, it's always yeah, good. Make that into a sushi, even better. Boom. So it's good. Bomb. Get that charred flavor, and it's a little smoky. I closed the hood for a little bit, so it got that smoke incorporated inside within the octopus, and we didn't put any salt on it because we washed it with the salt, so there's plenty of exactly. salt. So we didn't need to season it um, before we threw it in the grill. Basically, already seasoned. And man, that's delicious. Tender, juicy, with the lemon lime juice and le lime, lime zest. zest. Ooh, yeah, perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so good, man. Well, anyways, if you like the video, make sure to give them a thumbs, thumbs up, up, subscribe, subscribe, and. See you guys See you next, next time. time. Peace. Peace out.